Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. The reason why the United States was able to dominate the world less than 300 years after its founding was mainly because of the huge number of talents behind it. After the end of World War II, the United States brought more than 1,200 German scientists back to the country and forced them to doing scientific and technological research for yourself has laid a strong foundation for technological hegemony. After receiving the talent dividend, the United States has offered generous benefits to attract talents from all over the world. According to relevant statistics, as of 2020, the number of top scientists in the United States has reached 3,000, making it truly the number one in the world. With a huge number of talents, the United States has frequently made breakthroughs in many cutting-edge technological fields. For example, in the field of semiconductors, the United States took the lead in inventing transistors and integrated circuits. It has mastered a large amount of chip technology and has penetrated into global semiconductors in recent years. Industrial Chain Whether it is chip foundry giants TSMC and Samsung, or photolithography giants ASML and Nikon, they all use American technology and equipment to a greater or lesser extent. Therefore, when the United States forcibly revised its chip rules, TSMC immediately stopped OE Ming Kiran for Huawei. ASML cannot freely export EUV and other high-end lithography machines to Chinese companies. Since the chip rules were revised, Huawei has also fallen into the dilemma of having no cores available. Mainland chip foundry SMIC has not yet purchased ASML's EUV lithography machine, causing China to be stuck in the 14 nanometers process in terms of chip manufacturing. But what the United States did not expect was that under such layers of blockade, Huawei actually achieved a chip breakthrough in just three years, and the sales of the Mate 60 series equipped with Kirin cores also skyrocketed and even reached a point where supply exceeds demand. The key is that the aircraft does not use any American technology or components. It can be said that Huawei has used its own strength to slap the United States hard. Not only that, Huawei is also making strong efforts in 5G, and has received a large number of orders with its advanced technology and equipment. According to data, Huawei has received a large order from the Brazilian operator Tim last year, and will assist Tim to jointly build Brazil's the first 5G smart city. According to estimates by industry insiders, the total amount of the project is as high as 1.2 trillion yuan, which shows the huge scale. In addition to Huawei, university research institutes such as NPU and Harbin Institute of Technology have also made frequent breakthroughs. The former has completely broken the American technology myth in the field of ornithopter, while the latter has mastered the three core technologies for the development of EUV lithography machines 
and can it is said that overtaking on corners is gradually being realized. What makes Biden even more crazy is that at the end of last year, Peking University suddenly hit a big bomb, that is, the research team, led by Peng Liancao and Xiao Chengwang of the School of Electronics successfully developed a 10 nanometers ultra-short channel. Ballistic two-dimensional indium selenide transistor. This technology can reduce the voltage of the two-dimensional transistor to 0.5 V. The delay is only one quarter of the silicon base limit and the power consumption is reduced to one-third, making the two-dimensional transistor the actual performance has successfully broken the silicon-based limit of Intel's silicon-based fin transistor in this field, becoming the fastest and lowest energy-consuming two-dimensional transistor in the world. You know, in today's semiconductor field, giants such as TSMC, Samsung and Intel have all been researching and developing two-dimensional transistors for many years. However, due to the inability to solve the problems of contact, gate dielectric and materials, they have not yet developed a technology that can compete with the industry. Silicon-based transistors the Peking University research team creatively constructed a 10 nanometer ballistic two dimensional indium selenide transistor and also overcame international difficulties in materials and finally successfully developed a two dimensional transistor that exceeded the industry's silicon based transistor limit, completely breaking the US. A technological myth in this field. In this regard, even foreign media said, China has risen strongly in the field of semiconductor chips. As the saying goes, there is no rough skin without scars. In order to restrict the development of China's semiconductor industry, the United States has tried its best and used all means over the years, from the entity list to chip rules, to the four-party alliance, and the tripartite agreement. Even industrial software such as EDA is restricted from use. Although this series of suppression and sanctions has severely damaged the vitality of Chinese companies such as Huawei, and China's semiconductor industry chain has also been greatly impacted. It has also stimulated China to embark on a path of 100% self-research. Now Huawei's Kirin Core has achieved a breakthrough. Harbin Institute of Technology has also mastered the three core technologies of EUV lithography machines and Peking University has developed the world's fastest and lowest energy-consuming two-dimensional transistor. I believe it won't be long before China's lead in the semiconductor field it will be able to completely break the US blockade and even achieve comprehensive catch-up. Please like if you agree.